Hello, I'm Michael Glass from the FX Cast Market Analysis Team. This is our FX Cast Market Analysis Trading Plan. In each of our videos, we try to identify high probability trading setups. We'll evaluate the gold chart to see if there's any leading sentiment. We will create a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, and we'll review the economic calendar to see if there are any releases that could affect our open and new trades. As always, please send your comments and feedback to analysis at fxcast.com. As usual, we are starting off with the gold daily chart, and we can see that even with our little up move here, we're really in the consolidation range. We can grab our horizontal tool, come in here, kind of see that we we're finding support at our last resistance price level, and we'll see where we're going to break out. Now, um, you'll see that we are weak a little bit on gold today, even though we sort of have almost a bearish engulfing. We are, uh, actually, technically, we do have a bearish engulfing candle. The high and the low en engulfs the previous day candle. So maybe we will see a little pullback off of that. Um, and with that weak gold, we'll see what happened to the dollar, hint, hint. And when we look at it on the hourly, we can see a big consolidation range in here, big a lot of volume accumulation in this price level. So that's good. And you can see the volume did not dip off today, even on a indecision bearish engulfing candle. Um, we can see that we're getting down towards the oversold price level. And so um, that doesn't mean that we want to buy, but it does mean uh, we need to pay attention to find a place to buy, especially for our scalpers. If we scroll over, look at, <clears throat> you can see, even though our point of control is up here at 1621, we can see a uh, uh, volume peak here, volume peak here, volume peak here. So this price level right where we're at now, about 1613, seems to be a key price level for the past three days. So with weak gold, we come over to uh, our, our dollar currency pairs, starting off with the pound dollar, and we can see that we had a pullback because we had an up move in the, the dollar. So weak gold, strong dollar. Um, what's interesting, and we talked about this before, is that uh, when we look at where we are, um, you can kind of see we're really in this big consolidation range. Uh, we watched this tight range. We, we, we went out of that. We have this downturning line. We're out of that. And you can kind of see when you go back to June, this price action just kind of went up and down. So there's, I wouldn't say there's any real key price level. Um, I mean, if you wanted to, you could come in, you know, somewhere in here, the 1.6450 price level, and say there could be some resistance in there. But most of all, what you see is a bunch of wicks and a bunch of choppiness in this price level. So we may see that as we continue to wait to hear about the decision with the depth limit. Uh, with the U.S. states market down very big today, S&P 500 was down up about 26. That, that probably was the market telling the lawmakers, get the deal done. So again, as we come over to the hourly, we can see we are still well above a long-term moving average, yet we're in the neutral zone now. We're out of the sell zone, and this is an example where just because we're in the sell zone doesn't mean we're going to come down. We went up, uh, and now we're making our move down. Why? Well, again, this correlates with the dollar taking control. When the dollar takes control, look at the currency pair come down. So the dollar is in control. It's not only is it control, but it's above zero. Uh, you can see it's trying to get above our long-term downtrend of uh, moving average, where you can see the pound moving average is going sideways even as it moves down. Um, a little divergence allowed for this big move. So the dollar is in control there. Weak, uh, the pair does in return came down. Uh, but I, what I would watch for is two things. Again, on the daily. We talked about resistance just above where we are, and we can see probably some support around 1.63. You know, that's where this consolidation happened. We want to see that hold before we begin to make, uh, you know, retest the past swing high. So will we see the same thing with the euro? Yes, we did. Now, remember, the euro dollar never even made the big move out of the downtrend that the um, pound dollar made. 
what we did see is a couple of things. First of all, let's double click on this and then we, I think we, we changed it over to this, right? The second thing we can see is, where are we? Right in with all of this. That's a little bit too high. Let's take that. Do that one more time. There we go. So this is, you could say, a resistance price level. Uh, this day here happened, uh, if you remember, on a non-trading, it was a trading holiday. Um, so we're at a resistance price level of about 1.45. Uh, we still have this uptrend line that we're watching. We have the downtrend line that we've got ourselves back underneath. And so uh, the sellers are still in control with our volume. So it's going to be interesting. We see the same thing. We're in the neutral zone, but we're still above our long-term moving average. Look at our long-term moving average basic moving parallel. And that's basically the price action that we're seeing. But more importantly, there's a dollar taking control, getting divergence from the euro well above zero. And we can see the same thing here. The euro angling down below the long-term moving average and the dollar trying to get above this downtrend. So, uh, as long as the dollar is in control, we should see this continue to move down. Where will buyers find value? Possibly in this 1.642 price, I'm sorry, 1.42 price level. Uh, but you can see Wix really come all the way down here to 1.41. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see where uh, buyers start to find value if the dollar stays in control. So if the dollar is in control there, we should see a little bit here on the, the uh, dollar franc. And notice that we did not. So we don't have that correlation. Uh, we basically have a indecision doji here, very big doji. So hopefully that might lead to our move back up to our long-term 20 moving average here. Uh, but the selling volume is still in control, even amongst all this light volume. We are well below our long-term moving average, and we still are in a buy zone. Um, and here we can see the dollar tried to take control, but the franc came back, and they're basically equal. So I would say no one's in control here, which is why we have an indecision doji bar. Uh, you can see, uh, as we've been saying, the dollar trying to get above, and franc possibly moving below its uh, moving average. So nobody's in control, but we are in a buy zone, and we are below our long-term moving average. As we move to our watch list for our low volatility watches using our one hour time frame and our Bollinger Bands, we have the dollar franc and we have the Aussie dollar. I remember we just talked about the doji that the dollar franc had. For our inside bar watch list, we are going to be watching the pound yen mark the high and low of today's trading action. Let's go to our economic calendar. As we look at our economic calendar, some things really jump out at me. First, we have unemployment rate in Germany. Uh, but we also have from the European Union the economic sentiment. So that certainly can uh, move the market. Uh, as we move down a little bit, we have distributed trade for the pound, uh, pending home sales for the states. But going down even more, the Kansas City Fed can move the market one way or the other. But we also have inflation data and unemployment rate for the yen. We would like to thank you for watching our FX cash market analysis as we continue to improve and make adjustments so that you're getting value from our videos. We want you to take the time to give us feedback, give us comments, send us questions about what you would like to see in our videos and you can send those comments and feedbacks to analysis at fxcast.com or you can post to our daily forum. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.